hello in this video we are going to explore slab based pricing so let's look at the different slabs that we have so one slab is like from 1 to 10 so this is a range in this range the price the unit rate of our product is 2 2 rupees 2 dollars it could be the, uh, and then there is a second range and then there is the third range okay now uh, this is easy to understand but uh, let's look at the problem here uh, the problem is that you don't want the total price of 10 units to be greater than 11 units because then people are going to buy just this number and get more product from you which doesn't really make sense so uh, let's look at these unit rates so let's calculate the total price so if i multiply this with this okay it's 20 and the second maximum you multiply c3 with b3 okay it's fine now let's look at this other end so if i multiply this unit rate with this number now see for 19.8 dollars you can get 11 units of your product but for 10 units you have to pay 20 now this is a discrepancy so the first and the foremost thing is that uh, you need to change this price because this price is not okay so let me check if i put in 1.9 my problem gets solved now but the issue is that uh, these are just three rows if these rows had been say 50 or 60 and this would have been difficult uh, for you to calculate it and do it for uh, something and the first and the foremost thing is also that you also need to identify where you have this problem so let me uh, put the total price of let's call this start for simplicity and total price and by start and end referring to the the slab start and the slab end right and the formula is simple so this would be multiplied with this and simply let's do it for these three rows in the beginning and later we can do it now even you are facing the same problem over here so let's uh, make another column of say status now uh, in the status column you may call it you can give it some other name we uh, will identify the areas where this uh, price is lower than this price so I'm going to use the if statement let's say I started here so if now the logical test is that if this is greater than this which is what we want so let's say we okay and value if false should be error the double quotation marks are important because without that uh, you cannot write or uh, your function will not return text okay now this is okay but if I drag it down here so there is an error so at least now you have a way to identify this so we are going to add a few more slabs now 
let's say okay now we have these as well and let us put a few more prices here um, let's make this 1.1 now as these are all formulas so i can just select these three and drag these down so here we have these errors uh okay now to solve this error what i can do is one way of doing it that e i go to each and every cell and i start doing this okay now this is solved and now i do it for this other one but this is not a very uh, effective way of doing this so how can you do this uh, some other way so there is a way which is using goal seek so if you click data here and go to your what if analysis so there are three things scenario manager goal seek and data table so i would select goal seek and it is very simple goal seek is very simple so what we want we want that this error is removed and uh, so we have to change this cell Th this amount i want to change this amount to be greater than this so let's say 55.6 at least my price should be uh, 55.6 for one more product it should be greater than 55.5 you can select some other number as well but uh, okay let's it's 55.6 is not good enough then we can say 55.8 by changing this unit rate okay now if you do this so you have this number now you can simply do the same for this okay let's, let's quickly do it and it's very easy so i would do another goal seek so i'm going to select this and uh, this is 72 so let's make it 72.2 and by changing this cell now this is even solved uh okay here in this case if you look at this it's 1.7 it's a huge number you don't really want that so but you have an idea that uh, 1.76 will remove this error and so this is okay now we are left with the last one so uh, uh let's quickly do this so that the concept is reinforced goal seek i want this changed to value say 88.2 by changing this cell and it's done so 1.73 i think would be good so you get an idea that how you can do your slab based pricing which does not violate the rule that the uh, price of one more product in this lab should be more than the last the end of this lab i hope you liked this video and if you did then please subscribe and also hit the bell icon